growing up, I was really interested in like art. Like I didn't get it from my family. It wasn't really part of my family. It was kind of like more of my own thing that I discovered. I was just like drawing a lot as a kid. And I guess I really enjoyed doing it and started like wanting to learn more about it. Like the old different types of art that's out there. Uh, I enjoyed drawing and designing from being inspired by like multiple animated and digital like medias on the on on the web and stuff like animated shows or whatever I grew up like watching or like video games too the design aspect of like these characters that grab my attention like um I would say Pokemon is like a huge like inspiration San Francisco, but I grew up in Daly City. Like I moved there at a young age and been living here since even now, right now. My mom, she's from Japan. Uh, yeah, she grew up and raised there. She's half Korean, half Japanese because her grandma side is she's Korean, but like grew up in Japan, like moved there and been living there since. And then my dad is um, full Chinese because both of his parents are Chinese, but then they moved to Burma and he was born in, and raised in Burma. And they, they both um, moved to America at like a young age, like both of my parents. I, I do know Japanese. I do speak with my mom in Japanese a lot because that's like, you know, her native language. I don't know Korean or Chinese. <laughs> I have been to San Jose, Japantown when I moved in temporarily when I went to school. And my dorm that I found was like condos by um, Japantown, the main street of it. So I was able to like walk and like go to like Nijia, the market to buy some like groceries. I like the restaurants there and then like all these like tiny little shops that they have. And then like family owned businesses. It's It's very like culturally welcoming. What I seen before I left to move back here, I noticed the big parking lot that used to be like where the market happens. Like now it's being like replaced with like a building that's being built. And I'm worried that it's going to lose the historical and cultural features that like originated in SJ Japantown and being replaced with like new ones. But it's not going to have that same story and history behind it. Like before that, it was all, I was all interested in like the traditional art, like the things I just knew uh, without really researching, like uh, encounter I had and like during my childhood and in college, like when I was talking to my counselors, about like what I what I wanted to do in art, they said like, oh, it seems like you're interested in like the art and in, in technology aspect. Yeah, like I didn't know what the major was called because I was just describing it to them, and they said like, oh, this is what you're interested in doing. It's called digital media art, and I was just like, oh, okay, I never heard of that, and that's where it all happened. <laughs> Thank you.
I guess I wanted to challenge myself on learning more like different forms of art you can do. And I encountered with uh, digital media art and that caught my interest because of like how challenging of a skill that is to me to obtain in the, in the field of arts. So I aim for that. Oh, I heard about it by um, taking a class last semester, like an art fieldwork class with um, Professor Rhonda Holberton. And then she made this uh, Hidden Histories like as an art practice assignment for us to do in class, but also like a chance and opportunity if you want to apply for it. It's been pleasant with like hearing all these stories and that's like a great start to like get to know the project a lot more of, and it's been like educational as well like learning the histories of like what's been placed there and then like informative like resources that the advisors has given us that we needed but also nervous yet happy because being selected as one of the commissioned artists that's like a huge role so <laughs> <laughs> I notice I like to bring the natural world and the digital world together. Like most of my work talks about like mostly like nature stuff that I do. I just hope my work would reach out to the audience. Like they will get the understanding of the story behind it just by seeing like the work, like they get the story. Like, oh yeah, just looking at this, I understand what's going on and figuring out like enjoying like the interactive experience when they see it. I'm hoping to um, work for like companies that relates to like augmented reality like based works or creating like digital art content that would help like run an organization. That's what I'm hoping to go in the future. <laughs>